Problem 21. How many positive three-digit integers have a remainder of 2 when divided by 6, a remainder of 5 when divided by 9, and a remainder of 7 when divided by 11? So when we have remainders in division, this should be a red flag for modular arithmetic. And if you have not done AOPS Volume 1 to Basics, there's a very neat question that's very similar to this one. So yes, I do recommend in Volume 1 to Basics to be a very, very good practice material and preparation guide for AMC in general. So let's start with the question nonetheless. Let's say this number is x. It has a remainder of 2, so x is congruent to 2 when divided by 6, and that's represented by mod 6. x is congruent to a remainder of 5 when divided by 9, and x is congruent to a remainder of 7 when divided by 11. Now, what is the difference between the remainder and the divisor? Well, that's 4. So that means x plus 4 must be congruent to 0 mod 6. Why is that? Think about it like this. Let's say I have what? Let's have 3 divided by 2 to give 1.5. Well, it's 1 with a remainder of 1, right? If I have a remainder of 1, then what does that mean? That means that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This 3 is 1 away from the next multiple of 2. So if I were to apply the same idea here, um, right, that would just basically mean that uh, x or 3 right, is congruent to 1 mod 2. So then if I subtract 2 and 1, I get 1. And that's the distance that 3 is from the next multiple of 2. So that's, that idea is applied to this one. We can apply the same. That's x plus 4 is congruent to 0 mod 9, right? And then we can also say that x plus 4 is congruent to 0 when it's mod um, 11. So notice that they're all congruent to 0, right? We have x plus 4 with 6, 9, 11. So that means it must be the multiple of 6, 9, and 11. Right? So 6 times 9 times 11 gives us what? That gives us 99 times 6, um, 5, uh, that's 5, 9, 4. But that's too big. Well, that just basically means that we're, we're, we're modding 6, we're modding 9, we're modding 11. So we can just mod out the common, um, least common multiple, right? So 6 is 2 times 3, 3 is 3 times 3, and 11 is 11. So we have to have 11, we have to have 2 3s and 1 2, so it's 9 times 22 actually. That's equal to uh, 198. And if you don't understand why that's the case, um, it's because, right, if a number, right, is divisible by, let's say, you know, uh, what, 3, 2, and 7, right, then obviously this number must have um, a prime factorization in the form of 3 to the n, 2 to the m times 7 to the k, right? They have to be within the prime factorization, the prime factorization of x in order for them to be divisible by these numbers. So that's the reason why I can say that I can multiply 6, 9, and 11, because it, x plus 4 must have a factor of 6. It must have a factor of 9. It must have a factor of 11 in order for it to be congruent to 0, meaning it evenly divides out 6, 9, and 11. So when you multiply it together, that's just abiding by the rule of divisibility and how divisibility works. But we can find the least common multiple y because we want to find all possible three-digit number solutions. So x plus 4, right, can equal 198, right, because 198, right, is divisible by everything. So if we were to say like that, then what can we say about x? Well, we can continue on with this pattern because if, if x plus 4 is equal to 198, then x must be equal to 194. And x, right, is our ultimate number that we are assuming. So, but we can also say this is times 1. Why not multiply this by 2? If we multiply it by 2, right, that is still the same because we still preserve the, the factors necessary for it to be divisible by 6, 9, and 11, respectively. So multiplying by 2 just basically, you know, just gives it a, another number that's, you know, divisible and satisfying this idea. So what is times 2? Well, that is 198 times 2, so 6, 9, 3, 396. So 396 minus 4 gives 392. We can continue with this, and you see where this is going. Instead of multiplying by 2, why not multiply it by 3? Well, that's 4, uh, 9, 5, 9, 4, we can get 590. Let's keep going. Um, we can also have times 4, right? If it's 4, we have uh, and 792. So 792 minus 4 gives, what, 78. Uh, 7, 8, whatever. It doesn't really matter. It just means that it works. So let's just do 5, right? It doesn't matter what the number is. We just find the total number of numbers. So that's 0, 4, uh, uh, 9, 9. That also works, but obviously we are nearing the end here. It's 9, 9 something. Because if we multiply 6, right, that'd be way too large. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We have 5 total possible cases, so our answer must be choice E.